welcome back to my Carson channel. This was the Team F1 race. Uh, it was a 30 minute grid started race, so we start going out now. I uploaded the qualifying yesterday, so if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out, it's on my page. This was actually a reverse grid, so I start, I qualified first, so we all park up in a second, so I will start last. But as you'll see in a second, my tyres were a bit cold, and I ended up in the barrier. So I was just trying to get myself out of this situation, you'll hear, so, uh, you'll hear probably, I think it was Ben, shout way. That's not a formation lap to remember for me, so just trying to get myself out of this situation, which I did, just by trying to spin the tyres backwards. So I pulled up here, just so then all the people at the back can catch up, and they can take their space in first. Like I said in my previous videos, this was the international track because it was a Thursday night members event. So all Thursday night members events will be run on the international track on speed 4. So they will not qualify towards BIKC. So if anyone's looking towards setting BIKC times, you'll either be having to go to some public sessions or Monday night 3 for 2 sessions, which are actually pretty good for the money. So those two that have just gone through at the front were my teammates because they qualified 14th and 15th so they were my teammates and you'll see later on in the video the one in the blue navy suit actually lets me pass because we pre-agreed before the race that if he's if he's if i'm behind him he'll let me pass so gotta thank him for letting me pass i also saw a comment asking what my intercom is and i've just realized i didn't really explain it very well in my video so i'll explain what it is it's this thing that you can buy they're not the cheapest of things but you can buy some cheaper ones the one i bought was 80 pounds and it was the senna smh 10 so you buy it you set it up it sits on the left side of your helmet so you it's bluetooth connected so you're connected to your phone so you put your phone in your pocket and then there's a microphone that you can attach inside your helmet and there's little speakers that go in the, in the padding on the sides so you can hear someone bluetoothly on a phone call say which is what i do or you can connect multiple intercoms together. So say you have a teammate in the race, you can connect your intercoms together and you can speak to each other to make a strategy. And I'm not sure why, but I was placed on the 14th place on the grid. So I don't know why, but a free position gained, so I won't moan. But I quite enjoy a reverse grid, other than the fact that I'm starting last in this race. Because it just adds in a lot more enjoyment and it's pretty chaotic sometimes. Because I remember a couple of weeks ago, I wasn't I wasn't in the race at the time, but someone actually flipped their car at Liverpool, so they can get pretty heated and chaotic. So the five red lights will come on now in a second, I think, once the marshals get out of the way. So you see Lewis up front there. He's just still there, and he'll move. Yeah, he's moved now. So the five red lights will come on, and we'll get on the way. So I had a pretty decent start, but as you can see, it's very chaotic. Someone, I had got broke check there, so I hit him in the back and then just got overtaken by Lewis and just went side by side, but I had to give the position up because you can't fit two carts through there. And he was in the inside, so it was his corner. So I was just trying to look for the space, went for, went for the dive bomb, worked out, but then he got the better exit, so I tried to cut him off, which I did. And then you can see Ben in front of me. And as you can see, everyone's bunched up. It's pretty chaotic. Coming down this section here, it's very, very tight because of the amount of people and that you've got to watch everyone's breaking points. So Ben got a nice overtake there and I followed through. I've just got to say sorry to Max, who's the one in the yellow suit ahead because he tried to go for a move. Ben then had to break and I had to break, but I couldn't break in time. So Max got spun out. But he carried it on, to be fair. And then we went three wide, which was quite exciting I, th I thought I was ahead before the yellows but he went past and you see my hand but I didn't realize at the time it was under yellows as I overtook him so it's fair enough that he overtook me again so I just didn't see the lights because I wasn't really looking I actually hit the barrier there I was a bit annoyed but I put my head back on and I caught up to the back in a couple seconds as you'll see someone went for a very risky dive bomb there 
but fair enough because I left the door open which I should need to close. So at this point I was just trying to close the gap to the car that's ahead because I dropped back quite a bit. So I was just trying to close the gap because you can see they're all pretty bunched up. And you'll see I got a no contact bar uh, warning here. Not sure what I did to get that but I got it. And you'll see I get quite a few during this race because I just couldn't get my braking right. I think there was a problem with the car whereas the, the braking was a bit tough so I couldn't get it brake enough in time so you'll see in a, in a minute as well um, when I get towards Ben again I kept giving him little love taps which I'm sorry about that Ben but I didn't mean to so everyone else is battling in front so I'm now catching up because of their battling so they're losing time while they're all battling so I'm just in clean air really I know it's not really clean air because it's electric but you know what I mean I'm just I've got no one to battle with so I'm just gaining lap times so I've now caught up within the space of half a lap really to the entire this to this entire pack you'll see the driver ahead make a very lovely switch back look at this that was absolutely beautiful and then I just got the excess because driver ahead just had to give up the position and then I just followed through so gained one position there I think I gained I finished the race in eighth so I gained seven positions in total which is pretty good when I'm starting at the back as you can see now the gaps gained a little bit because I messed up a bit on my corners so I, I should try to gain the gap back really because they're all still fighting and I've got no one to fight so I'm just putting in some consistent laps in so as you'll see in a second we all start catching up to the pack ahead so some of the drivers in the front are starting to drop back and we're all then overtaken, which you'll see in a second. I think it's through the hairpins that, yeah, here we are. So you'll see Lewis, he gets the move done here, which was a lovely switch back. Not sure he didn't complete it there, but he gets it done there because sadly he spun out, which I think, did, I don't think it caused the yellow. Yeah, it caused, it caused the yellow here, so we just had to slow down to a walking pace just while they clear up that spin. So this yellow flag actually did me a favour because I started last, as you can see. So I was just really trying to catch up to the entire grid. So this yellow flag helped me catch up. So it just put me in a better position for overtakes, really. So this was quite a long yellow flag, which again did me a favour because it just gave me time to catch up to everyone, really. So I think it went green on the just just under the ramp. So I'm just, let's just see. Yeah, it went green just there. So now back to racing speed. Trying to just try and get some overtakes done now that we've all caught up. I keep hitting that barrier there because of my brake problem. So I was just trying to get used to the brakes. But when I was in overtaking situations, I couldn't get used to the brakes really. Because this was just a dodgy car, I think, which was 35. So I think that went into maintenance at the end of the night. I'm not sure though. But I'm guessing th car 35 had quite a rough day in the public sessions because I remember a couple of weeks ago we were actually told to triple triple check our carts when we were going out because there was a session before where the carts were thrown around the track and there was just some very questionable driving so I'm pretty sure that there was a problem and this is my teammate ahead so you'll see him let me pass he'll realise it's me and you'll see he lets me pass so you'll see here he sees it's me and then he just lets me pass so, got to thank him for that because I was pushing for the overtake here, really. But I messed up there, so there's, the gap's been created again, so I've just got to try and close that gap again. But due to the fact that they're racing, a bit of human DRS there, due to the fact that they're racing and overtaking each other, I will catch up pretty quickly, I think. Just, just a bit more human DRS, so I'm trying to make myself as small as possible to gain a bit of speed. And they're just, it's a three way battle here, really. I'm not sure what position I was in at the moment. I've not been counting, but it's, there's a three-way battle there. You can see Lewis pushing, trying to get the overtake done. I'm not sure if he did get it done. Yeah, he's just trying to get... I think he gets a dive bomb eventually. I think he dive bombs next lap, which was pretty, which was a good dive bomb, really. So, it's just a three-way battle. And you can see I'm already catching up. Within half a lap again, I've just caught up. I've not caught up massively, but I'm catching up lap by lap because they're all battling. 
But it was quite interesting to watch this battle, really, because I was just a passenger. So went for it. It was a good dive bomb there. But I think Lewis gains it back because Lewis is he Lewis is the driver ahead in a car. I'm not sure what car that is, 31 I think. But he's also one of the lighter drivers. So me and Lewis, I think we're the lightest of everyone. So we just pretty much, if anyone's on the up ramp, we just fly past them really. But you'll see in Ben's videos, and I said about this this last video, Ben calls me a skinny little rat and that's the reason. So there's a bit of a crash here. Not sure what happened really, but George Sherlock spun out. So he was, we went down the drain, but his team still managed to finish first. So even though he was down the grid, his team managed to get enough points to finish first. So again, this yellow flag helped me out massively again because it bunches the pack up. So everyone's all close together. And this yellow flag actually lasted quite a while because I think they were just trying to bunch the pack up really. I'm not sure why. But I think they were just trying to get George and everyone else down who was down there affected. Just trying to get them to catch up a little bit. So then they're in the race still. Bit, bit like an F1 safety car really. So I think that's what they were trying to do here. And I'm not sure where the green flag came out. I think it was along the straight along the combat carts. So we were all here just going walking, walking pace through all that happens because I think making turn the track green under here would be very chaotic so I think they were just holding it off until we were all on the straight so we could all battle fairly so yeah I think it went green yeah it went green now so everyone was along the straight or not in a hairpin which I feel like if they did make the track go green in the hairpins it would have just caused another crash so Lewis was just going for a move here couldn't just get, could not just get that speed so he's just trying to find the spaces which I'm now I was just looking for the people around me and I'm now near the front so Lewis makes the move and fit, I think this is Lewis's teammate so Lewis he lets Lewis pass and he tries his hardest to defend me off which he did very well because he defended me off for quite a few laps so my aim was to try to overtake him but I think his aim was just to back me up as much as possible because Lewis was ahead of me and I was right on Lewis's tail so Cart 55, I'm not sure what his name was but he defended very well to hold me back so well done for that but in my helmet I was so annoyed because I knew I was so much quicker than him but I just couldn't get that overtake done I was trying to find the space but he just kept getting away from me because he was forcing some errors on me so I went for, I gained so much speed from here Went for the boot, I just couldn't get the speed down the down the straight. So I was trying to go for the switchback, just didn't work out. So I was just trying to make some moves. It just they just weren't working out because he was defending very well. So again, trying to make the switchback, it's not working. And we're up, we're both catching up to Lewis in fact there. So he tries his best to just defend me off, just breaking in places where, yeah, he's just doing his hardest to because you keep seeing him keep looking back seeing where I am trying to block me off but I was just trying to find that little bit of space where I could overtake him and I just could not find it because he was his line was great he was defending very well so I just couldn't get past him but I then put the pressure on him and in a few laps time you'll see I made the overtake so I was just trying to change my line just trying to get the um, overtake done but I just couldn't get it, just couldn't get it done. It just wasn't happening. I was just trying to go for switchbacks, dive bombs, this would not work. And now I'd there was a bit of a gap that had been created. So I had to try and close that gap, which I did. And he as you can see the gap to Lewis ahead now is just gate is it's a massive gap now and you'll see by the time I overtake him, I tried to go for the overtake here. Went side by side, but then just got a bit of oversteer, just couldn't get past him. And yeah, you'll just see the gap just keeps getting bigger and bigger to the car ahead, which was Lewis, who was really my main rival, really, because I just wanted to try and get past Lewis because he was in the team who finished who finished behind me in the end. So I think me overtaking this car helped me out to try and get second because I was just trying to overtake as many people as possible to get my team as many points as possible. And I think at this time, my teammate was in second, so my other teammate was in second, so he was doing very well. Because he started, I think, first or second on the grid. 
Whereas the other team that you'll see dropped down quite a bit earlier. But it's fine because we still managed to get third on the podium, which is very good. And you can just see I'm putting the pressure on now. He, he's looking, he's always, he's always looking for me, so he knows that I'm quicker than him. So it's just a case of trying to get that overtake done. So I, I looked for the, um, the dive bomb there, but just couldn't go for it because it'd be stupid to go for it. And I was just getting the speed here, and I'm not. I think it was. I think this was the lap where I got him along the start finish straight. So I was just looking for the move, couldn't make it. Got the better exit out of here. And then as you can see, I came alongside him and I went for the move and got it done. Because that was my corner, so I think he had to give up the position. So now my aim was just to try and close that gap ahead, which is quite massive as you can see here. So I was just pushing, 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 just to try and get that gap closed as much as possible. So I am now the current lap record holder for the international track, as I mentioned in the qualifying. You'll see, um, you'll see it in a couple of laps. I'll mention it just before. So I think I'm going to end my voiceover now, but I'll come back every now and again just to explain what has happened, or I'll be back at the end to run you through the timings. But I'll explain when I'll tell you when my lap record is, so you can see my lap. I think it's the next lap after this one, so not this lap, it's the lap after, I think. Just looking at my notes on my phone. Uh, yeah, I think it's the next lap, so I'll be back just before the start of the next lap. So when I cross the start finish line here, this is the start of my lap record lap at Team Sport Liverpool International Track. So the start finish line is it's not been painted in yet, but it's here. So that was my lap record lap at Team Sport Liverpool International Track, which was a 48.677. So I hope to keep this fastest lap on lap record, but I guarantee you it will be broken in the future because people are still learning the track. Because this was some people's first time on the track and they were still setting very high laps, or very quick laps, sorry. And I was just very happy with the lap that I'd set, but it will probably be beaten in the future. Hopefully by me though. But you can see from that lap alone I've gained massively to the cards ahead. Which is crucial for my race. Because you'll see later on in the video there's a few more overtakes. Which is good for me because I need to get as many overtakes as possible. Because I started 15th. So in order for my team to finish as high as possible. I need to basically finish as high as possible. Which I finished 8th in total. So I gained 7 positions. And my team finished third on the podium. But my focus here was just to try and put the pressure on the drivers ahead. But I made a silly mistake here which could have ruined my entire race. Because I hit the barrier there. And I could have easily hit that hairpin barrier. So I'm very lucky I didn't actually hit that. Because if I hit that barrier that would have been my race over. So I'm very very lucky. Because that was just a silly mistake that I made. Like, like I said on the qualifying, I'm making too many silly mistakes which are going to cost me positions in the race. Because if I actually spun there and hit the barrier, I would have basically been out of the race and my team wouldn't have finished on the podium. So I just need to get those silly mistakes out of my system and just focus on overtaking and not making any silly mistakes. 
So as you can see here though, Lewis is all over the driver ahead because I think the driver ahead is holding back everyone else because I think he's got his teammates ahead. So I think he was just trying to hold us back really. And he did so very successfully because Lewis couldn't get past for a while. But you can just see he was all over him. Like just trying to get the move done but he just couldn't get it done like me earlier. So that's just racing because you try and get the move done but if someone's good at defending you just can't get past. But this battle isn't really doing me any favours because I'm trying to get back past Lewis. But Lewis is trying to get past the driver ahead. So this isn't doing me any favours because I'm trying to get up as high as possible. So if I'm trying to get past Lewis and if he's trying to get past the car ahead, it's just creating a battle which isn't necessary. So I just needed to get Lewis to get past as soon as possible. Or me to get past Lewis as soon as possible. But I couldn't get past Lewis because I kept making mistakes. Which was dropping me some time. So I was just trying to hope that Lewis was going to get past and then I could then swoop past Lewis. But that didn't end up happening. Because sometimes in karting it's best to just wait back behind and wait for the driver to make a move. This is where Lewis makes a dive bomb. It's a very lovely dive bomb to be fair. And that's what I mean. Because now I've gone and got past the driver. I didn't get past him here but I tried to get the switch back but I messed up. But I could have easily got past there and I didn't make a mistake. Because that's what I mean. You have to just wait your turn. Just wait for someone to go past. And then I could e easily just sweep past there. But he defended well. And then I tried to do the switch back. But I just broke too much. Because like I said earlier. I had a brake problem. So I either broke too much. Or I broke too little. I just couldn't find that perfect spot of brake. The, the, the amount of braking. So that's what I was just trying to do. So not getting past him on that um, combat cart section. Is really going to not do me any favours. Because now I'm stuck behind him. And I, I was stuck behind for a few laps, I think. So if I wasn't, if I overtook him there, I could have been all over the back of Lewis here, trying to overtake him as well, which could have completely changed my race. But now that I'm battling with Car 52, I'm making some mistakes again, which is going to drop me back even further. And then, see, you can see the gaps already like so much bigger than before. So it's just that's just what happens. But I'm lucky because there's actually a battle ahead. Lewis and Ben Boyle are actually battling. So their battle dropped Ben back and then I managed to sweep through and get quite a nice overtake done under the combat cart section. So now I've got Ben Boyle ahead of me. And I mentioned earlier about hitting Ben Boyle a few times during the hairpins. They were just little love taps just letting Ben know that I was there. But yeah, Ben defended very well to be fair to him. So you can see he just cuts me off really. I'm trying to get the speed through this section, trying to find the space, but I just can't get past it because he's defending very well. But there's a common theme between me and Ben because whenever I overtake someone or get a fast lap, it, mo most of the time it's when Ben's ahead of me. And you'll see through here, you'll see I give Ben a little love tap for the first time. There we go, there's one of them. And I'll probably get a, a, um, a caution just saying don't don't make any contact so i think i get it along here you might see it on the left yeah i get the no contact warning again i think i got five or six of them during the race but i'm so quite surprised i didn't get a penalty really i'm just gonna go for the move go for the dummy on ben but i just couldn't get the speed and then he just got the better exit and i've i've got i've got them i've got more speed but ben's just getting the better exits I'm trying to go for the switchbacks, but it's just not working. There's another no contact just from the same incident, just let them letting me know that I need to stop making contact. But I think I give Ben another love tap here by accident. Yeah, there's another one. I honestly didn't mean them. I just couldn't get the break right. And yeah, I just trying to get past, but I just couldn't get the break in right. 
but coming along here you'll see I get another no contact warning I think along along the left yeah there we go get another no contact bit of deja vu this isn't it so I was just trying to get I was just trying to get past Ben but I couldn't get past him you see he just cuts me off there which is good defending just looking left and right I just couldn't get past him really he's just defending very well so I'm just trying to get past here and I think I get another one in there I, I didn't get shown at that time but I see you can just see the speed I'm gaining on Ben here and I just had to give up try to just give up my speed I didn't give him a love tap that time which is quite surprising because I thought I would so Ben's probably quite glad I didn't but I think I gave him one through here no I didn't but I gave Ben quite a few through the race just letting him know that I was there but I didn't mean them because I just couldn't get the break right so yeah just good defending there from Ben cutting it off closing the door on the um, on the dive bomb that I could have made so yeah he's just he's just defending very well so fair dues to Ben but you can see he's always just placing his car in the middle of the track just looking left and right making sure I'm not getting past but that's what you ask, that's what a good defender does so Ben's obviously got lots of experience in defending and overtaking because I think he's been doing it for a while whereas I only started karting in September 2023 and I gave Ben a massive love tap here didn't mean that one I put my hand up made a mistake and I made lost the position here and I couldn't gain this position back till the end just got a bit of a hit from behind there just it, I made a mistake hit Ben from behind lost the position I just made a mistake and I'm, it made it was I put me in the worst really because Ben got a love tap. I know he spun Ben out by accident, but then I lost the position and I couldn't gain the position back. So yeah, this is a car that I definitely didn't want this night. But I guarantee you it'll be fixed the next time it's used, probably. So now I'm just trying to get the overtake done back on cart 52, but I'm just couldn't get the braking right again. So at this point, I'm attacking and defending at the same time. So it's very difficult to attack and defend at the same time. Because I've got a driver right behind me. And I'm trying to push on to overtake 52. So I've got to try and drive defensively. But then also drive attackively, which is very difficult. Because you've got to defend, so you've got to close the gaps and close the doors for the driver behind. But then you've also try and got to find the gap ahead. So it's very difficult once you're in this situation because... I've got to put my car in the middle of the track to defend from behind. But then that also makes you lose speed to the driver ahead. So I've just got to hope that I can gain speed elsewhere, like on the straights, because of my weight.
but now I'm all over the driver ahead but because the race ends in a second I couldn't get the overtake done but I guarantee you if there was a bit more time in the race I would have then been able to get this overtake done but yeah that's just what happens But this is the final lap now and we're just lapping this back marker on the final lap. But I was all over the driver ahead and so was he on Ben. So I was just trying to get 52 because I finished P8 overall in myself and my team finished P3. So I contributed to, I'm not sure how many points I contributed towards. But I could have got up to P7, maybe even P6 or higher, maybe even P5 if I just had a better car on a better day so yeah that's just what happens also it being a reverse grid I think I did quite well because starting 15th and ending up 8th is quite good because I've gained 7 positions over the race which is very good but I could have got more which is the annoying thing so that's just racing so everyone's just giving fist bumps here just good racing sportsmanship which is what you like to see and I just pull alongside 52 in a second, just give him a fist bump because he defended very well near the end there, to be fair to him. So just a bit of sportsmanship, which you love to see. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the commentary again and I'll see you in the next video.